Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how to set up Eclipse IDE for Java development on Windows 11. So that's been said, let's get started. So in order to set up Eclipse IDE for Java development, we have to install Java JDK and Eclipse IDE. So first of all, let us see how we can install Java JDK on Windows 11. And after that, I'll show you how you can install and set up Eclipse IDE for Java development. So for that, open your browser and search for Java JDK because we need to download Java development kit first. For that, open the link from oracle.com. Don't worry about the download link. You'll get the download link in the description box. Simply click this link and here we have Java download page. Here you can see Java 17 is the latest version of Java SE development kit. And here we have to select our operating system. Here we have Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So we are going to install Java JDK 17 on Windows 11. We are going to select Windows and here we have our download option. Here we have three download option, compress file, another one is installer and another one is MSI installer. So we are going to download this x64 bit installer file. Simply click on this download link. And here you can see it is downloading. It is around 152 MB. So it will take some time to download. So let me complete the download process and after that I will show you how you can install and set up Java JDK 17 on Windows 11. Now let me tell you that if you are not able to download Java SE Development Kit 17 then you can simply log in to your Oracle account. So I had already made a video on how you can create a Oracle account for free to download Java JDK. So watch this video to create a free Oracle account. Now here you can see our download has been completed. Simply open this installer file. Here we have the setup window. Let me minimize the browser. Here you can see welcome to the installation wizard for Java SE Development Kit 17.0.1. Here simply click on next and here we have to select our installation location. So this is the default installation location where Java JDK 17 is going to install. Now if you have a good reason to change this location then you can change by clicking on this change button and you can browse your location where you want to install. For now I am just going to keep it default then click on next. Here you can see it is installing. Our installation process has been successfully completed. Here you can see that Java SE deployment kit 17.0.1 64 bit successfully installed. Now simply click on close. So we have successfully installed Java JDK 17 on Windows 11. So by just downloading and installing Java JDK 17 on Windows 11, Java file will not work. For that, we have to set up Java environment variable. To set up Java environment variable, we have to copy the path of Java bin folder. For that, just open the Java installation folder. If you had selected the default path, then you will get your Java installation folder on the C drive, programs file. And here you will find one folder called Java. Simply open this Java folder. Inside this Java folder, you will find JDK 17.0.1 folder. Just open this folder. Here you will find one bin folder. Simply open this bin folder. And here simply copy this path. Because in this bin folder location, we have one important file called Java C. Java C is a compiler which compiles Java code. Now we have to set this path as an environment variable for Java. For that simply copy this path and open settings and here simply click on system and here you will find one option called about simply click on this about option and here you will find all your PC information and here you have an option called advanced system settings simply click on this option and here you will find environment variable option under advanced tab simply click on this option. And here we have our user variable and system variable. On the system variable, simply click on this path variable, then click on edit and here click on new. And here simply paste the path of that Java bean folder. So here we have our path variable. Simply click on OK, then click on OK and here click on OK. Now we had successfully set up Java as an environment variable. Now to verify whether our Java installation has been successfully set up or not, for that simply search for CMD. Here we have our command prompt, simply run this as administrator and here simply run two command. Java hyphen version, then hit enter. Here you will find your Java version, 
that is Java version 17.0.1 and the release date and here you will find Java SE runtime environment build number and Java hotspot 64 bit server VM build number. Now to check whether your Java C compiler is working or not for that simply run Java C command. If you find bunch of statement that means Java JDK is successfully installed and set up on your Windows 11 computer. So this way you can install Java JDK 17 on Windows 11. Now let us download Eclipse IDE. For that again open your browser and search for Eclipse IDE. Eclipse IDE is the best integrated development environment for Java programming. Now to download open the link from eclipse.org. Don't forget about the download link you will get the download link in the description box. So simply open this link. Here we have the official website from where we can download Eclipse ID. Now to download, here simply click on this download option. Here we have the download page. Here you can see that Eclipse IDE 2021-12 is the latest version. Now to download, simply click on this download option and here click on this download button. Here you can see it is downloading it is around 114 mb so let me come to the download process and after that i'll show you how you can set up eclipse ide for java development our download has been completed now simply open this installer file here we have the eclipse installer let me minimize the browser here we have all the eclipse installer so we are going to install eclipse ide for java development so for that simply click on eclipse ide for java developers here we have all the option to install Eclipse ID for Java developer. Here we have our Java installation folder and here we have the installation folder for Eclipse ID. Now if you have a good reason to change this location, you can change by clicking on this folder icon and you can select your location where you want to install Eclipse ID. But for now, I'm just going to keep it default. And here we have an option to create start menu entry and desktop shortcut if you want to create simply check this box then click on install here we have eclipse foundation software user agreement simply read this agreement then click on accept now here you can see it is installing it will take some time to install so wait until the installation process completes here you can see our installation process has been successfully completed now simply click on this launch button here we have our workspace locations all the files will be saved in this folder if you have a good reason to change this location then you can change by clicking on this browse button and here you can select a location. For now let me keep it default and click on launch. Here we have our Eclipse IDE. Here you can see welcome to Eclipse IDE for Java developer. Here we have some options to get start with Eclipse IDE. So let me close this option. Let me maximize the window. So this is the interface of Eclipse IDE. Here we have all the options such as file, edit, source and other options. Here we have some tools and here we have our package explorer. Here we have some tabs for problems, Java document and declaration and here we have our outlines. Now let me show you how you can create your first Java project using Eclipse IDE. For that click on files. Here you will find new option. Simply click on new and here we have option called Java project. Let me click on Java project. Here name your project. Say for example my project. Here we have our default workspace location. Here we are going to use Java SE 17 because we had installed Java SE development kit 17. And here we have our project layout and here simply click on next. Here we have the project hierarchy. So here is my project folder. Inside this project folder, you will find one folder called source. Inside this source folder, all your Java files will be saved. Now here simply click on finish. Here you will get a new window to create a module info.java file. Simply name your module, say for example my project, then click on create. So this will create your module info.java file. Now let me create a simple Java program that will print hello world. For that simply right click on the source folder, then click on new and here click on class. And here name your class. Say for example my class. Let me tell you that you should write your class name in camel case order. Then select your modifier. Let me select public and here select your method. Let me select public static void main string argument then click on finish. So this is the base of Java program. Here we have our package name that is my project and here we have our class name that is my class and here we have public static void main function. 
inside this function we have to do all our coding now let me explain you the package explorer here we have our project folder that is my project and inside this project you will find two folder one is our java gre system library and our source folder inside this source folder you will find one package that is my project package and inside this project package you will find a class file called my class so the class name and the file name should be same and here we have our outline overview so we are using my project package which has my class as a class and here we are using main static function now let me write a simple program here we have system dot out print ln function which will print hello world and after finishing every statement we have to write semicolon now to save this program simply click on file then click on save all now to run here we have a run option and here simply click on run here you can see on our console we will get hello world similarly you can print other statement say for example welcome to the coder world youtube channel now to save simply click on file then click on save all and here click on run and click on this run option and here on our console here you will find welcome to the coder world youtube channel if you want to learn java programming then you can check our java beginner playlist you will get the playlist link in the description box so that's it this is how you can set up eclipse ide for java development on windows 11 if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this bye for now see you next video